thank you for attending the Roofing Alliance's ninth Annual Construction and Institute of Competition. My name is Allison LaValle, I'm the Executive Director of the Roofing Alliance, and we're very happy that you're here. Uh, the Roofing Alliance, as you know, advances education, research, technology, and charitable programs for the industry. And what's so important about this student competition is that we play an active role in connecting the roofing industry with the construction schools and management throughout the country. So today I'd like to welcome and thank all the teams that are here. We've got six fantastic teams making presentations today. We have an esteemed panel of judges from the industry, both from the contracting, manufacturing, and distribution side of the industry. We certainly want to thank K-Post and the team at K-Post for providing the project this year on Globe Life Field, as well as all the mentors that help the teams and their advisors at all of the schools. And again, thank you all for being here and supporting this great Hallmark event. So with that, I will turn it over to our chair of our construction management schools competition, and that would be Alan Lancaster. Thank you, Allison. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, wait a minute, try it again. Good morning. Good morning. All right. We're alive and awake. So good morning. As Allison said, my name is Alan Lancaster. I serve as chairman of the Roofing Alliance Construction Management School Initiative Committee. I can't say that three times fast. Thank you for joining us this morning. We uh, appreciate everyone that's here. Um, and like Allison, I'd also like to say thank you to those individuals who provided the, the behind the scenes for the competition. That includes the Alliance staff as well. They have a lot of work they've put into this. They work tirelessly, and this is one of the premier events of the IRE, I believe at least. I want to give a special thanks to Chris Evans from K-Post. Um, K-Post is here in Dallas, and Chris did a, uh, a great job of helping us all along putting this uh, project together with the information. We um, that really kind of includes plans, specs, questions, plenty of questions and answers that I needed to put this together. Actually, yesterday, the uh, KPO set up where we had a visit and all the teams went to the job site yesterday so they could actually see the project and the roof that they bid on. Uh, so thank you, Chris, and uh, all of the KPOs who helped that out. The project this year's competition is the Globe Life Field. It's also known as the Texas Rangers Baseball Stadium. Located in Arlington, Texas. It should be noted this project this year was not part of the stadium. It should be noted the project this year was not part of the stadium roof, but just all levels, every roof level on the project. Each team was asked to research the project, review the plans and specifications, and assemble a full estimate and proposal to submit a qualified bid package. They had to work to find a competitive edge to beat their competition while still maintaining a reasonable profit margin. For this project, each team had to decide on application means and methods, show overall roofing knowledge, and it illustrate its company is prepared to undertake this project. Challenges for the project included such items as logistics, accessing the roof, actually accessing many, many roofs, this is all because of the size of the project and also, you know, they had to take into consideration this was a new construction project, so there was a lot of uh, other trades that they had to take into consideration. Working on multiple level roofs in a safe manner is also part of the consideration. A very unique feature of this building's roof is its operable dome, and it's also um, a very steep pitch on that area, so this is all part of the considerations they had to do in putting this together. The roofing project is approximately 5,500 squares, with, as I said, multiple levels of roof. The important thing to remember, though, is most of these students knew very, very little about roofing when they got started. Um, listening to them yesterday, I think they've learned a lot about roofing, and they've got a great experience in, in this project here, and you know, taking that forward. So each team submitted a written proposal, which includes pricing and information on how they will manage the project based on all of the criteria they were provided. 
The owner wants to select the best roofing contractor, not just the lowest price. That's part of what we're here for today. So after the written proposals were received, our judges selected the six finalist teams that you will be seeing soon. They all were invited to uh, Dallas. And now we're in the final part of the competition, which is the oral presentation before our panel of judges. Our judges you will meet in a few minutes. So the six teams in here for this year's competition are Bradley University from Peoria, Illinois, California Polytechnic State University from San Lucas of Abisca, California, uh, Clinton University from Clinton, South Carolina, Colorado State University from Fort Collins, Colorado, Texas A&M University from College Station, Texas, and the University of Florida from Gainesville, Florida. The scoring criteria for the team, for <coughs> the scoring criteria for the team's oral present. <coughs> Sorry, again. The, oral, <laughs> the scoring criteria for the team's oral presentation today includes overall quality of the oral presentation, the feasibility of project management, organization, and schedule. Innovation, creativity, use of technology, value engineering, quality of safety and quality control, and also answers to our judges' questions. The final scores will be determined by a combination of the scores from their written proposals and today's oral presentations. The scores from the written portion of the competition is one-third of the overall scoring, with the oral presentation today being two thirds of their score. Also, during the uh, award ceremony, which is when we will acknowledge the, uh, the winners, we will have some individual uh, awards as well for their oral skills. Uh, the presentations you're about to see are a result of the work of the students themselves. While each team had a member, a mentor from the roofing industry, the mentors had only provided guidance and some roofing specific so even before the oral presentation begins, I want to say congratulations to each and every team, to each team member, as individuals, and to their staff and mentors for the support they provide. And so now I'd like to introduce our moderator for today's oral presentation, our Roofing Alliance president, Ms. Kelly Van Winkle from King of Texas Roofing, right here in Dallas. Kelly.
finish their scores and comments. So without further ado, I will introduce the first team at the ninth Annual Alliance Construction Management Competition. <laughs> 